A warm welcome to our subscribers and animal lovers. Let's begin today's video with a story. About 18 years ago, a man submitted his urine sample to a medical lab for general health checkup. Tests revealed nothing out of the ordinary, but the dog of a doctor working in the lab, Tangle, seemed to have taken a particular interest in the urine sample. The doctor got curious and had more tests run on the patient. To her shock, it was found that the patient had a malignant tumor in the kidney and it was too early for medical tests to detect this. But how was the dog able to sense this and save this man's life? Stick around to know more. In today's video, we will be talking about Cocker Spaniels. This breed of dogs have been around for over 500 years. Initially known as Spaniel, there are two major subdivisions known as the Land Spaniel and the Water Spaniel. The Land Spaniel was used as a gun dog that assists hunters by pointing at the direction of the prey with their forelimbs. The Water Spaniel was used to recover prey that got shot down into water bodies like lakes. After the 17th century, the prominence of Spaniels as a hunting companion reduced considerably. Around the 19th century, these were bred into several new categories. Land Spaniels were used to create Springer Spaniel and Cocker Spaniel, whereas Water Spaniels led to American Water, Irish Water and English Water Spaniels. Spaniels are a huge family with 28 subbreeds. Some with names I can't even pronounce right. English Cocker Spaniel, English Springer, Cavalier King Charles, Boykin Spaniel, American Cocker, Clumber, Russian, King Charles, French, Papillon, Field, Welsh Springer, Sussex, Irish Water, American Water, Picardy, German, Pont Audemer, Cooker Hogney, Blue Picardy, Stabby Hound, English Water, Norfolk, Tweed Water, Toy Toller, Falline, Alpine, Drense. In India, English Cocker Spaniels are popular and that brings us to our topic of the day. So why did people start calling them Cocker Spaniels? Well apparently, these guys were good at hunting a bird named Woodcock. They were so good at this that men thought it would be fitting to fuse the name of the hunter and the hunted and voila, Cocker Spaniel, the name, was born. Cocker Spaniels are always hungry for new activities, so keep them engaged with new tasks beyond playing fetch. It makes them happy. These active and intelligent fellas come in 15 different colors, namely black, white, tan, liver, shades of red, black and tan, orange roan, blue roan, tricolor, liver and white, liver and tan, golden, orange and white, blue roan and tan, black and white. The most common colors found in India are black, white and tan. Should you need spaniels of other colors, you might want to import them from abroad. These guys can grow up to a height of 43 centimeters and a weight of 16 kilograms. Their lifespan averages between 12 and 15 years. They can deliver anywhere between 3 and 12 puppies. The English Cocker Spaniel has an ambient body temperature of 38 degrees Celsius during summers. It is important to maintain this temperature and ensure it doesn't reach 40 degrees Celsius as it might lead to brain shutdown. It is best to visit the vet in case of a temperature increase nearing 40 degrees Celsius. These guys, however, adapt well to winter. They are no Siberian Husky or St. Bernard when it comes to harsh winters, but they do okay in cold climates. It is common for Spaniels to have their tail truncated. This has nothing to do with them losing their sanity. These guys grow a lot of hair around the tail region, and if the tail is long, it becomes difficult to keep it free from infections. Hence the tail is usually truncated to a fourth of its original length. Not to mention, even a shorter tail is pretty active. Some owners prefer not to truncate the tail for aesthetics, although they end up spending a lot of time and effort in grooming these guys. The Cocker Spaniel obviously has no preference in hanging on to its long hairy tail or a truncated one. 
it seems equally happy in both the cases. So it comes down to the preference of the dog owner. Cocker Spaniels grow a lot of hair, which is soft and shiny, around the ears, neck, face, tail, and paws. It is important to groom them daily and brush the hair to avoid tangling of hair and infections. The maintenance expenditure is more compared to other breeds, starting with the shampoo used to give these guys a mandatory weekly bath. People usually passionate about pets who don't mind the high maintenance, both the cost and the effort, go ahead with choosing a Cocker Spaniel. A quarterly hair trimming is mandatory again. One should walk the dogs at least thrice a day. Spaniels are family friendly. They get along with everyone, but they usually remain very close to only one family member. So much so that if that person is taken ill, the dog feels low. This dog doesn't bark an awful lot. These guys are compact in size and are easy to carry along during trips. They are known to be good companions to kids. Until they are a year old, one needs to walk Cocker Spaniels post which they will accompany you royally while you go jogging. Dogs are generally territorial. They don't take it well when another dog enters the home. Cocker Spaniels, however, go easy on other dogs and are generally friendly in nature. Cocker Spaniels are intelligent. They can survive in the wild by finding their own prey, thanks to the hunting instincts passed down genetically. This, however, has a downside. They don't prefer being tied up at home. This interferes with their free spirit, and they might take this frustration out on your furniture. You have been warned. These guys are easy to train. They don't require a dedicated trainer. We can practice some simple commands, and they are known to pick it up pretty quickly. Now back to the maintenance. These guys require a nutrient-rich diet that consists of proteins, vitamins, carbs, fats, fiber, and mineral in healthy doses which will contribute to their enhanced immunity, increased lifespan, stronger muscles and bones, and shiny skin and hair. These guys are difficult to hate once they enter your home. Even someone not fond of dogs might fall for their enthusiasm and charm. They have been known to comfort the ill and are in general a stress buster who will bring a bundle of joy into your lives. The popular opinion is that golden retrievers are the lookers. It might be worth noting that spaniels are closely related to golden retrievers and it goes without saying that these guys look good too. Now let us get back to the story that we started at the beginning of this video. The doctor attending the patient, Dr. Claire Guest, was surprised to know that the dog might have sensed the cancer at an early stage where medical tests couldn't unravel much. So she arranged for several urine samples to be displayed out of which only one belonged to a cancer patient. And Tangle was able to single out the cancerous urine sample every single time. But how was this possible? Well, dogs have a sense of smell 50 times stronger than humans. And dogs, in general, have a 40% accuracy in detecting cancer, but Tangle has an accuracy of 80%. And it turns out that Tangle is, wait for it, a Cocker Spaniel indeed. Also, Spaniels are quick learners and are known to have understood and obey commands in more than one language. A Spaniel named Ginger has been accompanying his deaf owner in Scotland to Gaelic language lessons. The owner was surprised to know that Ginger, after three weeks of lessons, can obey commands in Gaelic. Spaniels are known to have a therapeutic effect on people. If you would like to own this bundle of joy, the expensive maintenance notwithstanding, then they retail for 20,000 apiece in India. Thanks for watching the video. Let us know what you think in the comments section. Until next time, take care.